Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name's Taylor, and today we're going to be going over our 2022 Numar Supreme Air. If you guys are in the market for a clean, used, low mileage, high towing capacity, or all around luxury coach, as far as all powered shades, we have solid surface countertops, wooden cabinetry, um, and soft close dovetailed drawers, then I'm so happy you guys came across this video because this coach might be for you guys. So let's go ahead and kind of dive right in. Sliding over here, we'll just briefly show a picture of our Michelin tires here. They're the 31580R 22.5s. Sliding over here, we have our nice gripped steps and our big lights as far as big truck lights and then we have our side rear view mirrors right here well camera system <clears throat> and then i also wanted to touch on as for the whole newmar line they have the integrated gutter systems which is super awesome for rainy days like today so you're going to kind of eliminate a, well eliminate some of that water that's go going on your slides as well as just the wear and tear of the paint throughout the life of the coach so i just kind of wanted to point that out here it'll be um, it'll drain on either side in the front and then also the rear and then you have a little spigot down here where it kind of just self drains it's a little all over the place because it was snowing slash raining this morning but i thought i would kind of point that out as we're looking at the paint this is a special color paint i'm all for that fiery red it just kind of screams um, supercross motor uh, motocross take me to the races kind of feel especially with its high towing capacity being 30,000 pounds and that twin screw, it's not gonna hold you back from any of the toys that you're gonna to wanna to bring to um, the races. But let's go ahead and get into our first bay here. <clears throat> nice and carpeted. I will go through the exterior of the coach fairly quickly this morning just to kind of briefly show you some of the stuff. So we have our HWH uh, leveling jack system as well for our slides. And then our third bay. And for the fourth bay, we have our exterior entertainment system here. I love how the door goes all the way up. So it's kind of out of the way. You can actually be standing up or sitting in the chair to access your TV and watch it. It's also on a nice hinge, so you can pull it out. And then you have your Bose surround sound system, which is always great to have. Exterior of a coach, you can just use the Bose or your TV. And then you have two more charging outlets out here as well. Perfect. I love these steps. It's a nice little Newmar upgrade. Again, as far as the Supreme Air, it is all luxury. So we have the luxury steps. Not only do they slide all the way out to the ground, um, but they go in a little bit more graciously. And you do have a nice little sensor built in. So if you want to stop it at a certain level, you can do that by just tapping it and it'll automatically stop. And you also do have a nice little power override, which is accessible from X out of the coach. So you can kind of um, push it all the way out if you need to, if it's kind of fidgeting or giving you a hard time, because if you are in the motorhome life, you do know that the steps kind of can um, really toy with your emotions sometimes. So <laughs> just want to lightly touch on that. All right, all right, over here, we have our Oasis Chinook. That's our hydratic, uh, hydronic heating system. So if you guys are familiar with Oasis, you guys know what it's all about, but it's also just a little bit better as far as soot. You don't have that high um, sooty kind of blasting your neighbors. So it's just better there and an all around better heating system for your water as well as your heat inside of the coach. And then we have our road vac here, which you can plug in to kind of clean off everything exterior of the coach as well as interior, which I'll show you once we get inside there. <clears throat> Whoops. All right. Here is our twin screw that I kind of discussed earlier. And I kind of forgot to mention, we do have our beautiful Gerard awnings out with our LED light strip flash too, since it's kind of a gloomy day today and it's helping keeping that rain out of the way while we're videoing, um, but beautiful awnings there. And our last bay here, it has a drawer which will help I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fight it. Um, but plenty of storage there, a nice little rolling rack to kind of help get in all, if anything rolls around, you don't actually, actually have to dive inside of your coach to kind of get something that rolled super far back. So I love having that. And then we just have our little chassis rails here. 
I will show you in the back, but you do have storage on top as well. So Numar made that nice and accessible to you to kind of fit in all those little things that you're gonna need while you're camping. And for this one here, we'll just pull this. It's on a nice little hinge that will pop open that back compartment for you. And then you have your little light switch here as well to kind of light that up. Alrighty. Moving on over to the rear of the coach. Tremendous amount of storage again, perfect for all your fluids, some tools, maybe a ladder that can slide back right here. All the things that are accessible to you. And then again, we have a 30,000 pound towing capacity and hitch here, which is also, you can change it your height for any of those stacker trailers or anything that you're trying to tow, maybe a whole nother, um, camper if you may and then you have your seven pin connector for another horse trailer where you can plug your horse trailer in and then your little um, Phillips one as well alrighty sliding on over to our driver's side of the coach I did want to point out we did do um, it has the exterior uh, baggage doors here which also will help when you're in the mud, snow, rain, kind of the rocks that kind of pop up and scratch your paint. You don't have to really worry about that, having those aluminum baggage doors there. Nice little storage compartment. This is where our generator is. So we have the Cummins Onon generator. It's a 12.5. And it's running right now, so we have that. As soon as I close the door, you can kind of tell that it's not as noisy, but since we have that door open, it's a little bit noisier, but you can't even tell when you're inside of the coach. Nice little storage compartment here for those slinkies. Now on over here to our wet bay. So our tank capacities for the gray is gonna be 60, our black's 40 and our fresh is 150. We do have an exterior shower our hose that is on a uh, manual reel power pull-in. Sorry, I'm drawing a blank on the names. And then you do have a nice little, on words here, and you have a nice little display here to show all of your tank capacities. And then you have your gl uh, gray and black rinse. All right. Here is our 50 amp shore power cord and our 3000 watt inverter right over here. All right, and we have all of our house batteries here. And it is on a nice little reel, so you can automatically uh, service them if you'd like. You don't have to worry about fighting them. Makes it a little bit easier for you and for the techs. Right over here is all three of our chassis batteries that are nice and covered there. And then also, you could kind of pull that off as well. But I like how it just looks a little bit more clean, nice and tucked away and protected. Here is our depth tank and our Oasis hydronic heating fluid here. And then right next to it is actually our diesel 100 gallon fuel tank, which will also be displayed in this bay door as well. And then you have your fuel oil, um, oil filter, which is super easy to change, which you can kind of unscrew and pop a new one in whenever you need. So you don't need to go to um, you know, get it serviced to kind of change that out. There's another one of our camera systems here so we can see our blind spots. And now as I open the door, I love how there's always multiple ways that you can get into these because they're so high and tall, but I love you have a grab bar here. You can grab onto this handle and then you have two beautiful steps here as well. But the uh, main reason why I wanted to open this up, I just wanted to show you the air ride seats and show you that they are heated. And then I love Super Seats because their chassis battery disconnect is right here. So if you, have it off and then you're trying to start your coach and like, oh dang it, I forgot to like turn it on. It's right here. You don't have to get out of your coach like you do in a class A. Go outside, turn it back on, make sure your baggage door is unlocked before you get out there and you know, just all the little nonsense. But nice there, beautiful leather seats. And we'll kind of get into the more of uh, the cockpit when we get when we get inside. Perfect. Here is our nice little front cap. It's just as far as the Super C, as far as safety that is. Customers automatically feel a little bit more comfortable when they're driving it because it feels more like a truck. 
and it feel you having that chassis in front of you gives you a little bit more of a cushion just in case if something did happen. Um, but we'll go ahead and dive in to more of the chassis specs and all that kind of stuff. I just want to give you a little bit more of a visual why I touched on that. Um, but let's go ahead and see what the Supreme Air 4061 floor plan is all about when we get inside. Alrighty, as I'm taking a step inside, I just wanted to point out that entry step, which is right here, that little power override. So if you are in a pinch and it is being wonky, you can use that button to kind of save you. And then you have that fire extinguisher right next to the door too. I'm gonna let our cameraman jump in, close that door, and then I will kind of show you the rest here. Ah, oh, perfect. Now that we're all inside, I do have the slides in right now and I'll kind of show you that in a second. But I love how the control panel right above the door here <clears throat> We have our awning controller right here, so I'll go ahead and let's just bring those in. It's on zero, we put it in, all of them will come in at once, and I'll go ahead and turn off those lights. And then we have our wine guard, our driver's side window awnings, Wi-Fi router, entry lock, your bay doors, you can automatically unlock them or lock them, our step cover, which is kind of why I wanted to show you this before I open the slides. Just because this is super awesome for kids, dogs, animals, people in general. You kind of just forget your steps are there, especially having the kitchen right across from the door. You can be talking to someone, having a good time, just kind of, you know, taking a step back and then you don't want to fall. So this is just kind of nice when you're kind of done for the night, you can close that up, shut the door and make it feel a little bit more homey inside. But now I'm going to go ahead and sideways shuffle this way. I do have our little um, chairs here. They're, they're faced out just because I didn't want you guys to have to go through the pain of seeing me pull them out and get them all ready for you. So you can move them sideways to give you a little bit more space here where you'll, where you'll do, you know, kind of like the sideways shuffle. But if you do have them displayed out, then you'll definitely have to like bunny hop over them. Um, but this is kind of just the little situation you got when the slides are closed. So I'll go ahead and open them now. starting with that full wall slide. And as they're kind of opening, I just wanted to touch on, this is the Avalon decor. I feel like you can never go wrong with Avalon because it's the gray, it's the cream, it's the bright. Um, doesn't really, you know, get old. I feel like I've loved gray and it kind of matches with everything. So you can kind of dress it up if you'd like, if it's not fancy enough for you, or if it is a little too fancy, you can always dress it down or add a pop of color. So I love the flexibility of the Avalon decor. And then this is the Bermuda glazed hard maple hardwood um, cabinetry. Perfect, and now we'll do the other. Pause, sorry. That um, bay door for the TV is open still. Whoop. Alrighty, my apologies, but it's okay. There we go. Now we will continue. <laughs> That's just one great thing about having all the windows. You can kind of see what's going on when you're letting this slide out. All right, now that it's fully out, it's also gonna go down just like our full wall slide is to ensure a better seal. And it's kind of crazy if you kind of listen. When it does completely seal, it gets so much quieter. Like you can't, it's still rolling, but you can't even hear it, so it's kind of cool. Alrighty, sweet. Now I will go ahead and get that last slide here in our bedroom. <clears throat> Again, the beautiful Avalon decor. Most of the beddings are a little too flashy for me, so I would personally switch them out. This one, I wouldn't. You know what I mean? It's not too bad. And I really like the decor, the decor pillows as well, because it matches the valences. Perfect. And I know I kind of mentioned earlier in my intro, but the whole more floor that Numar does, meaning no carpet, is something that is only in the Supreme Air floor plans. So as you could see on our full wall slide, underneath the fridge, underneath the kitchen, all in those important areas, when you're kind of, you know, that get dirty and harder to clean, you don't have to worry about the carpet getting all grummy, especially when you have pets. I know that's kind of a big thing. 
Um, so we have that beautiful more floor, huge closet space back here. Make sure it's unlocked. And then I'll start from this side. As you open it, the light automatically turns on and then we do have our beautiful safe back here. So it's nice and hidden in the corner. You could put some jackets right there so nobody can really see it when they first open your closet. And then for the other side here, we have our beautiful shoe rack, which is kind of awesome to have. And then all of our breakers are gonna be located in the rear of the closet as well. Nice and hidden away. Just looks like a cabinet, you can't really tell, so I like that. It's not very busy. And then, as far as the storage bedside, we have a nice little countertop here. We have a cutout, so you can kind of string through all of those charging systems inside of there. And then our drawers, I'll go ahead and just open them and then move out of the way, because I'm sure you can't see them. Perfect. So you got four little drawers there. Nice and soft clothes, dovetailed on the edge right here. You can get a little bit of a look. And perfect, there it is. So plenty of storage there. And I will kind of open up some overhead here above the bed, which you do have some more charging inside there as well. And then one more, it is nice and carpeted. And then you do have a way to kind of slinky through those cords as well. And up above here, you have a nice little control panel that is all around the coach. It's a nice little touch screen that it controls mostly everything as far as the power shades. And then you do have two more for your speakers. Perfect. Here is that Splendid washer and dryer. Nice stackable. It is tucked away you know, very rear of the coach, so that could be a little problematic, um, but it's okay, you can kind of work around it. At least you have this and you don't have to go to a laundry mat. So we always gotta look at the positives, guys, okay? <clears throat> All right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and show you underneath the bed, because I think it's pretty cool that you have two leaves instead of one. So our little um, dining area is very big. I brought a nice little ruler so we can measure it for you, um, but you do have two more chairs. This right here is gonna be, because it is a, um, Jeez, I was gonna call it a yeah sleep number. I was gonna call it a smart bed, um, but yeah. <laughs> so we have our sleep number bed here, and then here is our central back hoses for the exterior of the coach or also interior. And I love how this bed is on a hinge. You honestly just have to lift it slightly, maybe an inch or two, and it kind of does the rest of the work for you. So you don't have to worry about breaking your back to get anything under here that you store away. And then I just love this floor plan too, just because the uh, TV is kind of nice in the corner here, but you get such a beautiful counter space here to kind of put more storage, again, to unpack and kind of when you open up the coach and you're at your campground, just to make it feel a little bit more homey. You can kind of lay everything out, lay your jewelry there, kind of lay out what you're gonna wear, you know, the next morning, cause I'm weird and I do that too. So it's kind of just nice that you have little designated areas that you can kind of make feel like home. So I'll just go ahead and open these really quick for you. As you can see, they're very deep. They all come out the same way, so the same size, which is nice because if you have OCD, that would kind of drive you crazy if they're all different sizes. And then I'll just grab storage up above as well. Plenty of storage, and we haven't even got to the rest of the coach yet. So that is just for the master bedroom, king size bed, plenty of storage everywhere. You can only sleep two people in this coach too. So I say that's a phenomenal amount of storage. I mean, if you really needed to, you could do a blow up mattress like in the living room, but um, just little things there. You do have a nice little control panel as well. So you have one in the very front of the coach. You have one here amongst five to six other little mini control panels that I'll show you next. Um, this is just a nice little overview. We do have this coach winterized right now. So everything's at zero and it gives you the house battery, chassis battery. So we're at prime charge right now and our gen is running. So that's why it's highlighted. And then we have our AC power, DC power, generator, what it's all doing for the coach right now. And then our water. Of course, climate, very important to have, especially here. Our block heater that we can turn on and off. 
And another amazing feature is that floor heat, which will be great during winter, which also keep those bays nice and warm for you, as well as just maintaining the heat temperature. If you don't want to run your heater full blast for a really long time, the floor heat will kind of help maintain that. All right, so that is pretty much it. Let's go ahead and soft close all these soft close drawers and we will head up front here. <clears throat> so here is our pantry. Nice little drawers here. I know you may be thinking it is a little small, but it's okay because this isn't your only pantry. So we have, let's see, two, four, six little drawers here. Automatically lights up when you open it, shuts off when you close it, um, but perfect for canned goods. And I mean, you can get creative. Our Whirlpool fridge, beautiful, clean, can barely even tell it's used. We got our ice compartment again look at the ice brand new super clean coach guys i don't know how how i can really persuade this to you but this coach is very very clean for a 2022 with only 11,550 miles um, not even broken in can barely even tell it was used impeccable shape all right and here is our main bath let me go ahead and turn on the lights because i totally forgot to do that whoops there's our little control panel here perfect Make sure they are all on so you can get the full visual of how bright it gets in here. Okay, and I'll just pop in the shower so you guys can kind of see, um, you know, what it looks like. It's pretty spacious and roomy for it being only one bathroom here. I did write down the specs of the shower, so it's a 40 by 32 shower. Again, with the Avalon decor, we got a little bit more blue in here, not that the lights are on, but it is ha it, ha it does have some gray as well. And then this nice little blue bubble automatically lets us know that we have the Aquamizer water saver. So you will just go ahead and turn that on and let your water heat up so you don't have to let it, you know, go right to your gray tank. It's beautiful for a nice little water saver, especially if you're boondocking, super nice. I love having this little configuration too with the shower just because if you are at the beach, which if I had this coach, I would be there all the time. Um, you want to kind of rinse off your sandy feet or even maybe just rinse off your dog really quick before you guys get or kids, you know, either way. Um, rinse them off before you get them ready for bed. You don't want to do the whole full shower thing. So you can kind of use that. Nice little shelf here and down here. <clears throat> and just the overall tile gr uh, grout work, phenomenal, beautiful. And then you have this nice level drain here. It's not just one single drain. So while you're kind of washing everything off, especially if it's sand, you're not gonna get one big puddle and keep getting sandy and just, you know, get frustrated in your shower. So I love how it kind of narrows it down all to this one big space here. And then you have the, the beautiful skylight for those really, really tall people, but I am about six, I'm sorry, six, five, six. Jeez, imagine that would be scary. Um, no offense if, yeah, okay. And beautiful countertop here. These do open, so you can have some storage inside here. And then of course, sorry, I always try not to touch the mirror, but then I kind of had to. Um, we have some charging here for all of the, you know, necessities as far as for toothbrushes, um, blow dryers, all of that good stuff. Nice little corner section here with a bunch of storage, three shelves, pretty hefty as far as width and height. And then we have our towel holder and some more storage directly above the toilet, which is great for toilet paper, towels, toilet paper, jeez. I, I keep thinking I'm saying paper towels, but I said the right thing, it's okay. And then we have our little Dometic flusher over here, which you can't really see, but it is there. And then we got our storage next to the toilet, which I'll just open and get out of your way so you can see but they are all the same exact size, which is great. And then the storage underneath the sink where your TP holder is. Perfect. So pretty roomy shower for it being a 40 foot coach. There we go. And here is that second pantry I was telling you about. So do not fear, that's not your only pantry space. And if you don't wanna use it for the pantry, I mean, you can use it for other things as well. All, all but this shelf, they're all interchangeable. So you can style them to your desires. 
And directly below here is a little connector for that um, vacuum we were talking about. And the little spigot where it sucks everything up is on the opposite side here. So right next to the door, which is kind of awesome because typically you make your pile right in front of the door so you can just kind of shoot it out the door. You can just suck it up there. All right. Now I will kind of show you the beautiful kitchen here. So a very large kitchen counter space for it being a 40 foot coach again, the 4061, a uh, great floor plan. We have our little cabinet here for some storage, nice and carpeted. Our microwave and convection oven. And be below that, we have our true induction cooktop as the other side duels as a cutting board. So we got our nice little covers here just in case we aren't cooking and we just want the counter space, we could do that. And then as far as the storage, look how long these drawers are. Literally almost blocks the walkway with how big they are. So that's super awesome. The more the merrier, I always say, when it comes to storage. And I'm pretty sure that's Numar's motto because they definitely try every way to make sure there's plenty of storage everywhere. Dishwasher, I mean, it's always a 50-50. You either want the dishwasher or you don't want the dishwasher. Either way, you can use it as storage if you don't want it. So there's that. <clears throat> Can't remember if I showed you this one, sorry. Nice little appliance with the separations here. Normally they're overwhelmed with remotes, so this one's nice and cleared out. And then we have our trash holder right under here. Nice little drawers. Perfect for our sponges. And then our last one as far as underneath storage. Perfect. And the beautiful big kitchen sink. Perfect for that wash rinse scenario, again, for saving water. As in this nice little spigot here so you can clean it out to your liking. And the covers are pretty heavy. Which you want them to be so they won't be rattling while you're going down the road. Nice little perfect puzzle piece here. And then to wrap up the storage for the kitchen up above with two more drawers and our nice little Numar Club number here, as well as all of the colors and kind of little things. So if Numar says, hey, I need this color or I need this from your coach, it's a nice place to go is right over here inside of the kitchen. And of course that upgraded beautiful window, kitchen window, which I honestly think is a must, uh, just definitely opens up the coach, makes it brighter, shinier, the better. Right over here are these little mini control panels that I've been mentioning a few times that are all throughout the coach. So right now it's on our lighting. You can automatically turn them all off before you go outside or again turn them all back on. So we just go to the home page here. I already showed you lighting, shades. So we can kind of let them go down here. Those beautiful day shades still keeps a little bit of the light in but gives you a little bit more privacy. And then our fans we can control from here. Other systems as far as water pump, our TV lift. Go ahead and lift that up because we're about to go in our little dining room area. So that will be ready for us. And then our monitor panel for our charging and then all of our tanks. And the last one will just be the display brightness for all of these as one. All right. Now we will go into our living room here as the TV is going up. I did bring this little handy dandy um, measuring tape here because this, I, I, I had to tell you exactly how big this um, table is. It is actually huge. Um, so I'll go ahead and measure that for you. I should measure it this way so you can actually read it and see it. So it's about, hold on, I'm measuring, okay, about more than 33. I was measuring the little ledge there so it kind of wasn't giving you the full effect. So I'd say about 33 inches wide. And then length I will add that little place because you can easily put your drinks up there. Whoops. 
Alrighty, and this one is about 37. And that's with it in. And as I mentioned earlier before, that it has two leaves, so it comes out significantly. There we go. Not going to get the leaves and do all that crazy nonsense, but I will show you the additional length it gives you. So you can kind of really take in how big this table is. So we're at 60. 60 inches, 5 feet long. It's a little bit more than that, but you know. That gives you the roundabout estimate. I need some WD-40 or something for this tape measure. All right. So again, wide, long, beautiful count, um, little dinette table here. Perfect. And don't ever want to break it, but you really got to, you know. But you could sit easily four like this, or you can up to six, so that's awesome. We have our nice little TV there um, with our lights that I don't have on. We can, I call them the mood lights. So we'll kind of make it a little bit brighter here for you. Perfect. And the courtesy light. So we have all the lights here in our dining area. We have our bows up top here for our TV. I kind of like how it's already exterior. Sometimes they put them at the top, so it's like, what if I just want to use my bows, but I want to see out the window? You could still kind of have that option. And then we have some storage over here. And of course, the storage underneath here, which I don't know if I'm gonna fight with, but they do open, so I'm just gonna tell you that. <laughs> there we go, I got it, okay. Nice, so you have some storage underneath the booth here. And that is on either side, but we're not gonna do that twice. And then directly across, we have our nice little swivel chairs here that aren't anchored down so you can pull them out, take them wherever you want. You do have a nice little lift for your feet there, um, which is manual. So again, you can always trust manual over electric. The theater seats, very luxurious. These, a little bit more reliable. And again, another huge counter space with plenty of drawers. Sorry, I'll move my little chicken scratch notes. Oh, here's all the remotes and the goodies. And then we have two little cup holders that light up because who doesn't want their cup holders lit up? And then we have a nice little control system over there. So if you want to change anything, but without having to get up, you have that option. And then more storage directly above this. Perfect. And then there's our nice little black binder that tells you everything that you need to know about this coach. I'd highly recommend to read that. It's probably a slow read, but you will learn a lot of things. Alrighty, now up to here, we have our beautiful skylight that's closed off just because it is a gloomy day, but it still gets kind of bright and I feel like it just messes with the lighting inside of the coach for the video purposes, that is. So I wanted to kind of give you guys a better feel here, but I'm gonna go ahead and open up all the storage compartments. That is your new Mar person. If you're in a pinch, you call them, they will help you. I have to close this one now to open up this one for you. And these, which I'll kind of move out of the way. But we have another control system like the one I already went through for you guys in the rear bedroom. And then more storage up here. This is a nice little blackout curtains that you can button across here to give you a little bit more privacy, close out all the lighting. And then that storage compartment as well. <clears throat> Alrighty, so now I just want to give you a whole overview of the front here. So this is on the M2 112 chassis. It's the Detroit DD13. It's a 505 horsepower with 1,850 um, pound-feet of torque. It has an Allison 4000 TRV six-speed. And again, the three chassis batteries instead of the two, which is super awesome. And then just talking about the safety features, I know we already talked about the comfortability of it driving already. Um, just having that nose up front makes you feel a little bit more comfortable in case something happened um, as far as like a head-on collision. And then also just <clears throat> having that cruise control, the Detroit Assurance System, and then also the Lane Departure System. And then all around the Air ride cab just gives you a better, more luxurious ride. It kind of takes off all that tension. Can be a little bit bouncy, but it does help um, 
give you a bit more of a luxurious feel while you're going down the road, given that you are driving a truck with a lot of horsepower and work and um, towing capacity. So that's pretty much going to wrap up. I know I already uh, discussed the seats, all the controls up there, kind of repetitive sometimes. But if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, you're kind of thinking about this coach might be a little bit for you as far as everything that I pointed out today, I'd be very happy to help you guys out. Again, my name's Taylor. My contact information will be below, but it is 970-388-7937. Looking forward to chatting with you. Have a great day.